together. And by the end of it, we have our grand finalists for Sunday as we move into that best. Did we confirm a best of five or best of three? I'm I seem to think it's best I of think five still. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're I'll, really I'll look at the lead. I, mean, I always thought it was a best of three. It starts at four o'clock. It's a best of something, at least. It's a best of. Well, you know what? While we're talking about this, yeah, we're already underway. We are. We are underway. That was a, a very a very bad mouse scrolling. Someone there. <laughs> <laughs> trying to scroll the wheel out, just like Rock. not so smooth, not and so roll. smooth. It's a it's a morning, boys. It's a morning. Here it is. The plane's going to be cutting across. It's going straight across. Milton Power over to Gatka. It's cutting across all. I would say I wouldn't quite say the south side of the map. Come on, you can scroll that mouse wheel a little smoother. You guys, it's. I think they need a bit need a bit more coffee backstage. Yeah, we're working on. <laughs> so, looking at this then, welcome along everybody. Thank you very much for joining us on this beautiful Saturday morning. As we said before, we are live from Dreamhack Winter here in Jean Copping. Jean Shipping. Jean Shipping. Yeah. Every, okay. There's just, several just, different ways of Just saying. remember with Swedish, like almost every J is a Y. Got it. It's, it's like, uh, for example, with Jean German, a W is actually a V. Got it. So, it's just gonna so get our very first plane route of the day then, it's going to go directly from the east of the map, straight across smack bang in the middle. And we're going to have a very good spread around maybe 60 to 65% of players that are heading up north. We have a huge dumping site in Yaznaya and a rather big one down in George as well. The big question is, are we going to vehicles? Are they going to head further down south or maybe up to down the north of Severny? Severny's clear style, but it's usually <clears throat> poor man's loot at style, but so you don't generally want to go there. Zaki, if you want to kind of start the day off with a a very oh, slow pace. Martin, I saw start. yesterday. Uh, Martin was joining us in a fair few of the servers, so definitely here to play this this weekend. He's getting, getting tapped back. from behind, yeah. I think that must be from apartments. Yeah, it is. Yes. I can see two people on top of apartments. Which is um, sometimes what happens, especially if you can land early on those apartments and get yourself a, an AR. It's happy days because you can just eye and sight people across, mainly due to the fact that the people on top of the skull won't have any armor or anything like that. So it's a very easy kill if you can pick them up and you can see how much damage. Martin's already taken. Interestingly, one of the players actually at school has somehow... How's he not been, I was gonna say, how's he not nice. down that guy's surface? Now his teammate's there, he gets them both down. Nice, he done. So that surface picking them, the two kills up. I think he was Martin's teammate, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Martin's already been uh, knocked back there, so I think surface is gonna get around and res up his teammate. Two for two then, there you go. It looks like the teachers have already come into school and it's class dismissed. They're going to own this. They're going to be able to clean up all the loop provided he gets there in time, which he should do. And Martin obviously now knows that there are people over the apartment, so I expect the apartments to eventually take this fight to school because they can essentially wait them out. You look at them where they are in comparison to the actual circle. They have to run through them now. This is why he went down initially. Okay. Epic voice. I wonder, I wonder if he has an epic voice. Do you reckon he's like... Potentially. He was a man on a mission. I had one AK, <laughs> one bullet compensator. His life was ended. Oh, oh look at that circle. circle. Yeah, that's a circle. Okay. TSM would be very pleased oh, with that one. They'd be happy. Anyone that dropped into uh, Georgie would be very happy at the moment. Obviously, all the way down to Primorsk. Nobody went Primorsk. I mean, the plane did cut across kind of like it cut, it cut across almost Lipovka to Gatka sort of style. So nobody gone down to Primorsk at the moment. Obviously, a lot of people over in Yaznaya. They're all going to have to get the full distance across because he's a superstar who did very well yesterday over in uh, Milton Power. FaZe would be happy seeing the, the point being taken but there's a couple of names in here i would point out by the way all the pros lazy buggers not a single one of them in here this morning that's probably because they um, actually went out and had a little beer last I night i did see they were having a couple of beers and i think it was an o'leary's in uh, in the town and is it, is it called dr drink uh what is it drink hack they called it drink hack <laughs> drink hack or welcome hack i kind of saw it, some pictures last night is anyway. that why they were calling it yeah i mean we're talking about beer honestly i'm just looking forward to my coffee after this one it's, right we've got a coffee and a cup of tea you right know what, i don't know whose is whose least so. no i've got i've got my tea here they're you both yours two? stuuart is the hero Since that we brought needed me two coffees yeah what a living legend well i mean if they're sugar to milk as well i'll be even more impressed that's a good point is there milk and sugar we'll see we'll find out yes yes there is apparently Dukes have had us here. Joel, with, uh, Joel actually, Joel. He, um, he did pretty well yesterday with him and his teammate. I can see, are they both on the bike? Yeah, they're both on the on the bike. So they're doing the old Zaki dream. Um, the circle didn't quite encompass Zaki, I don't think. I might be wrong, but you don't it's tend nice to see too many going up in Zaki. Oh, some weird guy. I mean, it's a very good name, but he's actually got a crossbow. I would love some to see him get a kill guy. on stream <laughs> with a crossbow. If I bet, isn't it Stuart that normally has a crossbow? Stuart does love a crossbow. No, it's it's young. Young normally has a crossbow in the internal tournaments, isn't it? It's, uh, he normally has the crossbow. I know every time it's a fog map, 
which we do in the internal tournaments, which I think is fantastic, personally. I'm a massive fog map fan. Um, he's always got that crossbow dream. I've not seen him land it one yet. Crossbow dream or crossbow meme? Oh, that's it, yeah. Well, Pierre's got the high ground here, and this is should a be decent a position for him and Pachinki. They're both below him. Should be a very, very easy kill. He's going to hit the footsteps. He sees them holding him back for a second. Whist until his teammate goes around the corner, fishes him off. Peek. Peek you lose, son. Just... Peek you lose. He got away with it. Some weird guy. He had the crossbow dream. I hope he didn't actually fire the shot. Come on. He can do it. He can do this. I believe oh, he, he switched to the, the shotty. He switched to the shotty. Aim for him. It's Assassin's Creed. Use the crossbow, I believe. Yeah, he's on the roof. <laughs> he literally is. He should get a good angle on it. He's probably just oh, popping his feet. I've heard, his, I've heard him moving around. His teammates just kind of rotating in front of him, so at least trying to get both. Then, well, angle. they know what house is in now, right? They've got him pinned. Yeah, this is... Um, well, it's, it's one of those big apartment blocks, and he just, like, sits there in the window. Hi, guys! <laughs> Waving out the window at them. Uh, so that is the battle for Pachinki lost, or won, whichever way you could look, look at it to the SG guys. We had a couple of SG guys yesterday. I don't know whether it's the same uh, group. It's the different names today. Um, yep. So there might be a group of four of them here. I wonder what it stands for. What do you think? Super Galacticos. Super Gaming. I don't know. I'm just going with random names. Super Guys. Potentially. <laughs> it might be. I'm trying to think of something related to Swedish guys, maybe? Just, to, in, in, just in case you're unsure where we are, we're in Milter Power. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, okay, this is what you call Milter Power proper, I guess, proper, I guess and the other one's Milter Power Warehouse. It's like, it has so many different names, because you obviously have the little warehouse off to the, uh, the, the west of it. So I've just been going with which Milter, is, which is Milter Power and Milter Mini. Milter Mini. Big, pillar, big, big Power, Little Power. Yeah, I, I prefer Milter Mini myself. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of going there rather than actually into power. Uh, I mean, it's always got some decent loot. Uh, yep. Again, it's an easy one where if a team does pull up, though, you are going to have to fight for that. You, you're going to always fight for you're it. You're always, always going to fight, fight. It, yeah. It's also quite, if you manage to land there, uh, do a bit of a long shot, you, you can kind of tend to hear a car or pull up. And thankfully, if you're on the roof, obviously, you have the height advantage, but you've also got the weapon as well. You can murder them if they decide to turn up. Somebody gets jubated as they attempt to go for a crit. And yes, you mentioned it's, uh, uh, it's again. It's actually moved again. Yeah, they, they're actually not hung about. They were in Pachinki a minute ago. They just come straight out for that crate What's and nailed get? another two. Come on, what you predicting? Lee? SKS, What's in that SKS headshot in there as well. Nice. What's in the crate? Oh dear, it's, a, it's it's not the one you want, really, is it? The car 98. I mean, it's a level three. Level three helmet, which he's already wearing. So his teammate can get one now if he doesn't have one. So they're both going to be threed up. Yeah, which is actually in terms of like armor that you're going for, that tier three armor is like the best you can hope for because it's such by it's, far yeah it's, it's, it's because obviously one you have the 250 percent damage multiplier but more importantly it allows especially when you see squads you'll see a sniper opt to give a helmet towards uh, excuse me if someone has a level three helmet they'll give it towards their rifler or their sniper just so that they can kind of poke out they can peek they can try and get these shots they don't have to have fear of that can and get bullet coming in because you are in twos or ones you get in the face fortunately it's um, going to be rest in pieces but with the level three, you can at least poke, so you're going to be giving that to your sniper or your rifle. If you're running both of them in squads, then, I mean, excuse me, in duos, then it's going to be very happy days. We move up now, take a look over at Georgie. Two squads, is it two on one, or is his teammate just behind him? Mm, Potentially. Uh, I think it's yeah, a, there uh, he is. Yeah, I'll say it's a two on two. Hiding in the back with the M16. Over in North Georgia. His teammate right at the front, UMP, so it doesn't have the longest of range on that weapon, but then again, they are pretty up close and personal. You can peek out that window, you can still do a lot of damage with the uh, the SMGs in this game. You've just got to obviously know how to use them and get some of the add-ons and attachments on them. They will take a four-time scope. Well, uh, you can get an ACOG on there. It's not the most ideal scenario, but always having one in the back pocket, as you can see here with the holographic, it's always nice. Um, I've said before, I'm a big fan of running dual ARs, but I'll happily take an AR uh, an SMG as well. Ooh, just saw a small man who had uh, some pretty good rounds yesterday, actually. Yeah, he had some good games yesterday, was his, didn't his teammate, yeah, they did all right yesterday. Uh, we're watching these guys in North Georgia. They're, they're not going to fight. They're both they're, they're in loot phase at the moment. Is there any point where the circle is as well? You kind of have to ask the question. Is... Yeah. yeah. Oh, correct to Ival. Ival piling in. Hello, epic voice. Just got Martin down for the frag grenade. Nice. No 45 finish. players remaining. Yeah, Surface the... is uh, Martin's teammates. So are still at school. They've not left school yet. So Martin's down. His teammate already dead. Cool. Epic voice moving up. There he is. He just took the flank across. He's got to be looking. He actually went for the run. Manages to down one. He knows the other's on the left. He's going to try and finish. Forget finishing. Look for the, his teammate. His teammate's going to be coming at you. He's going to try and get the rotor. I think he's, he's completely messed up here. Oh, no. No. Okay. 
thought he, I thought he made some horrific mistake. So you can kind of see what he's doing here. Obviously, we have these POBs, so we can tell his teammates come into the corner. So at least you know when, when you crammed in there. Oh, he's gonna is he gonna push aggressive? He's, going for the res. he's trying to get the angle at least. He's he's going will for be able to get the the res. You can't necessarily rush that because you are only on your own. He doesn't have his teammate with him to help him out and kind of flank around. He is checking the windows though to see if he just kind of yeah. overextends around that corner because if he does, I'll be able to nail him with the AKM. He got the revive in. He, he took too long. He'll probably go and check just, yeah, just check outside the windows. Just oh, the hall, but he's kind of jumped out. Unfortunately, went for the... Uh, I mean, he, it was a good idea. He was so idea. careful up to that point and then just, like, launched himself out the window. It was a good idea. He's, I, I think see. he's been watching Shroud stream too much and just thinking, <laughs> I've seen him do this. I know what to do. Oh. 200 IQ. Yeah. The, the idea was there, right? Kind of jump down, drop behind them. I don't think he expected him to actually be on that side of the wall. I think he was going to try and use the wall. White passing the by. He's gone. Yeah, he's just having a, he's having a chiller. He's got, he's, he's got the buggy. Where's he off to? Oh, he's actually got a bike. I don't know. Maybe he's off for a, he's off for a little little trip. He's gone to order a cutter. I was hoping for some kind of a, I don't know, flip on a bike or a, you know, mid-air. Shenanigans. Yeah. My mate's, my mate's stuff. coming out of Saverny, isn't he? PJ the DJ. How's he back? Yeah, PJ the DJ and Rocket. What banging tunes do you think he's got on today? I don't know. <laughs> Some hardcore drum and bass as he as he makes his way towards North Georgie. I wish that with this game you could actually do what they used to do in the old GTAs, where you could put some music selection on oh, your no. computer and do it on the car radio. Can you do it in GTA? I know you could do it in old Battlefield G Vietnam. You used to be able to come the up with your tank with, or, or ride the ride of the Valkyrie on the helicopter. You used to be able to come in over the top. Dun, 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 dun. Do whatever you need to. Yeah. Do. Here That's I am. Probably the like best a... function they've ever put in there, but Rock it probably like cost them a fortune in terms of like licensing to get to be able to play that in games. <laughs> Whenever one of my, me and my friends got the uh, the chopper gunner, I believe it was, I think the chopper gunner on um, on Call of Duty used to put "Here I Am, Rock Me Like a Hurricane" down the microphone. <laughs> and used to hit the, the music kicking off. Well, that almost says Kappa. No, uh, Clapper. Do you think? Do you think when he was typing it, he was like, "Yes, I got it." Oh, I mean, a wrong. typo, because look, the L's right next to the K. Mm, he just like hard, bad. hard cased it, got the K and the L together. We'll call Kappa. Kappa now, because obviously we're not live on Twitter. Oh, he's just like, no, oh, clever. Can't beat Kappa. <laughs> Aircock, 16. He's on single fire as well. Trying to get some sight on these guys. One of them does show his body. He leans back, which is nice. 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 Cover up his torso. Don't take any damage. The other guy still wants a piece of this. He's not actually poking him to get his health back. He, he thinks, okay, I'll... I'll take this fight, absolutely no problems, but it's Aircog on Aircog, hard scoping in. He, he hasn't seen him, but the lean comes in, the damage is done. Um, questionable that place. Not covering him questionable again. place to be using the oh, first he day. got away with it. Well, Devon Sluffers got away with murder there, literally. Clapper taking the shots, the wall doing him some favours. I'm not too sure about the first aid kit there, that's a bit heavy. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't below half health there. Oh, oh. he's just been walloped Bang. by D. Von Sloffers, who he really should have took out trying to use that first aid kit behind the door. I mean, it was a good call to predict where he was going to be and blow the door out and, again, get the shots on there. It was very nice to so see. So next circle comes in. It's um, pretty much just south of Gatka now. So it's, it's bounced down south, brought Primorsky in there, quarry. Well, it wouldn't be nice if we get a quarry finish. We haven't had one of those for a while. Here comes, well, actually, a fair amount of rotations. It's starting to happen in the... Uh, in the, in the duo games, this is obviously something we'd see a lot of. Everybody in the vehicles, I can see uh, Jaxax coming a long way out. Strong point here, Gatka God building, because obviously you can see where the people are going to be coming from. You Has he got banging tunes on? Plenty of people who uh, are going to be DJ moving down him. from uh, George. So if you get that Gatka God building, you could probably just hard scope in. Level three uh, chest on his teammate there. So they've got a bit of, in fact, they've got level threes combined with them, so they're happy. Level one helmets, which is a little bit rough. I, I'd hope to see this late in the game, level twos, uh, bare minimum. They're gonna, it's gonna be a nice... Seven, is it? Cheeky seven, car on yeah. car action. Go on, drill him, give him some. You can do this, I believe, PJ. Oh, they're taking shots as well now. Don't know where from, yeah, they've abort, abort, abort. Taking shots, taking shots. We're not having none of this, let's, let's stay alive and uh, live again to fight another day, unless they're gonna have another go back at him. They know exactly where he is. No, nope, they're, they're going to... He's pulled the mixtape in, he's off. <laughs> the opposite direction. Um, just these, the little squad that they're unfortunately going to be running into if they're not too careful. Yep, they're getting smashed up on the top of the hill. It's such a great compound. 
It's a wizard tower, but just the wizard tower itself gives so much coverage into those open fields. You can see everything what's going on. Oh, someone's on the crate just off the distance there as well. I think that's Seven. I think it was Seven who they were chasing actually ended up on the crate. Mont Curse Blanc. of the Castle He's getting nailed now. You've said it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, you go for a crate. It's, it's not Curse of the Castle. <laughs> you, you went for a crate. As simple as that. It's a uh, ballsy play. He's lost his teammate. Which I think was that Schmolblan, uh, uh, blah, blah, I believe, I believe is his teammate that got took out earlier. And Lightvine took him out. Lightvine actually doing very well. Let me jump. Sorry, my German coming in there. Lightvine. Uh, Lightvine did. Uh, I think he's. I think they're about 10th. They're, obviously, we're looking at towards the finals now. We're starting to, which will be coming in on Sunday. I think he's concerned. A lot of games to go still, today, though. Concerned someone's still there. They're not too sure. He did pick up a Groza. I did cop for it for just a second. So there's a Groza on his body. Ah, now this is the reason that he's worried, obviously, he had the kill stolen from him. So now they're trying to find out where this player is that picked him off. We can see Slight where he is. one over there, yeah. He's just to his right-hand side. They don't know that unless his teammate has managed to get sight of him. But he's still aiming and kind of hard peeking towards that crate area, which... Oh. Would, yes, never mind. Lightwine spots him first. Bullet comes in. Oh, nearly, nearly got the flick there. Like it, like it. Like what I'm seeing from Lightwine. Rotate, get to a new position. And he's going for the going for the crate. <laughs> it's not rotated. The best, no, I, don't know, I don't know whether he's going to go for the crate or whether he's just going to try and get some cover behind it. He There's might a dash here there. There's, is it somebody else coming in towards it? Potentially his teammate. I think Lunch Pinar is his teammate. Yeah, giving him the cover it is. So he's trying to finish the job and very nearly did. You can see they're taking both very low. Lightwine's going to pick up that Grozer. Is he going for it? See that scar out change? Yep, there we go. Goes for the Grozer. Well, his Lovely teammate gone. finished him off. I think he just did he just deal with the vehicles there. I think he just popped the tires, didn't he? Yeah, lunch is going after the uh, going after the buggies. Pop the tires, stop them getting away. Well, they have a perfect pincer flank now. Like well, if he stops faffing oh. around with that loot down there and gets gets get that grocer reloading, get up the hill. Yeah, actually, I didn't realise he was so far down. If he'd have been a little bit further up, he could have actually just really pushed in hard at the moment. He's kind of holding his holding the angle, which isn't good because they're uphill. Oh, nice double tap. Bangs him twice. It's going to knock a, a ton of health off. His teammates in the back going to be just prepping up. You can see the stim bar there, so he'll be getting to full health very, very slowly. Not a big fan of this on the left-hand side, just kind of hard peeking like that and looking down the scope. You've got to re really turn very fast if you need to. But instead, the both hops say, OK, we can't take this fight. Let's just get the hell out of Dodge. Well, I mean, they've lost the loot. They're, they're losing the engagement effectively, and they're going to get shot in the back. There is the Groza in action, I believe. Coming Such over the top. A, a monstrous weapon. Lightwine getting the one. Can he get the second? There he is, off on the right side. Just spotted him. Lunch Pinar and nail him down. Will should be able to finish him off. And he does. So there we go, gets themselves the double. So actually three kills overall, because obviously they took down seven as well before that. 34 players remaining in the circle does come oh, in. Oh, nice. OK, Huge. Chopstick's still involved. Uh, action on the Chopsticks. beachhead going there. Chopsticks in there, yeah, that's the, that's the main part of it. It's actually a fairly decent area. This whole blob in the middle, this big mass, it's actually kind of like a hilly tree uh, sort of covery area. So there's it's a lot of cover, a lot of areas to play around. You just so. heard the guys that we were looking at their POV as well. They've just been getting absolutely battered from across. Um, we could see it on the map. We could also hear it in the background. So we'll keep an eye on that kill feed. See oh, these are going right into the open. They should get picked off here. As Theo looks across to his left. He thinks they're still in the house, he's, doesn't he? Yeah, if he just looked left. It's I mean, this now. is just a case of like the yeah, you, you tunnel vision in too much, and not 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 what in uh, spotting uh, what's going on around you. Now he sees them. He hears the vehicle. And it's like oh oh, they're all the way over here, right in the field. Maybe I should be able to land some shots, and he should do. Hacks, you're in trouble. And his teammates was like, you know what? I'm sorry. You're dead. I'm you're dead. sorry. I'm gone. Yeah. Bye. You're not, you're not getting out of that. Kritisk is just going to blast it away on the bike. Probably one of the most enjoyable vehicles in any game, I feel. Depends if you fall off it or not. <laughs> and then it just becomes your worst nightmare. Yeah, yeah, but it's hard to fall off this thing. Like you have to, you have to like proper whack, you know, one of those little ledges or something like that. It's not like the dustbin. Is he actually threed up to the? Uh, I think he's got three chest and helmet from what I just saw on that player cam. There, as we move over to another person who has a three helmet, two chest. Got to get the uh, the first aid off. Superstar, we saw in action yesterday, quite close to the circle, so they still can play off a little bit at a time. You can see that Groza just lingering in the distance on one of the player's icons. Look for that to be coming into some good use. He's a bit slow on the flank on. here. Jack Sax is on the full flank on him. 
They've knocked one, so he's putting him in himself a, a dangerous predicament. This guy comes in, spray down to there, misses a few bullets, but he should. Ooh, he doesn't get the key. In fact, he does. His teammate comes in. Maxi comes in, yeah. Maxi and Jax. I, I mean, we, I'm just going to call him Jaxy. Maxi Jaxy. Seems Not like a, a decent one. pair. Probably Jax Axe. Yeah. Doesn't really roll off the tongue that one, I'm afraid. No, it's not Rename even. yourself, son. Go Jaxy. Maxi and Jaxy. So they're going outside the circle. They got themselves a decent amount of loot there. Superstar going down. Ival, uh, who was obviously in Pachinki earlier on, just got, took down a double there. Mojito and Svamp Simi uh, getting picked off. Epic Voice, these are the guys that were in, in and around school apartments with uh, Wallen Malen. Got Glotz in there. Uh, looks like he's he... loot doesn't look great. I think he doesn't look like he's in a good position. He's got a crossbow gun and a handgun. Oh right, okay, he's got a scat. So he's scrolling through the weapons to try and get his grenade out, and also just make sure that they've got everything there. His teammate in front of him, you can see on the right hand side, he's just trying to get some cover. But as soon as he pokes out, he gets absolutely nailed. Yes. He will get dropped. They're in and all. all oh, kinds iron of sight him from this range. He's had a bad loot day, hasn't he? I mean, look at the health. Why are you showing your body when you're on this much health? Stand behind your player. Get behind the tree. I think he's just going to get a little bit lucky. Uh, no. 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 Stiffer just picked him off. He had his, unfortunately, his ass was sticking out. He didn't have a pan to be covering it. I think he's getting carnitiated from distance there. It's a nice weapon, though. You've got to get over there because that had, if, he, if he can get over there, they decide to you know, go loot them in the blue. They're going to set up a, a can and an eight times scope. Um, oh, Pete has ended up with the Grozer. The guys that were in Pachinki, if they just did they? That, that's the third owner of that grocer, I believe. And if it, if it's the same one, it's past the parcel. I mean, it's one of those weapons where if you see it, you, you want to. You got it. Yeah, you got to pick it up. There Why we not? go. So epic voice going for the uh, siege and taking down that single player. But they're actually getting pushed up. There's, a, I think, there's two pushing over the uh, fields there, in the distance. So they're going to be careful. Everybody's starting to get prone in the cornfields. Not good positions at the moment, really. Um, looks like Lynch Pinar coming in there. Joel coming in off the distance. Everybody just about creeping into the circle. The next update, oh. boy, straight across. One compound in there. So let's probably look for everyone if they had vehicles or if they want to move quickly to try and go and take this prime location because this is this is where you want to be, right? This is this is prime foothold. Getting there, get stuck in. You've got a chance of the net circle gifting you and being in the same position. Jesus, look at this flanking. I was sitting here with the SKS popping up from range. Look, his teammate PJ is way up ahead on the full flank. It's, this is a this is a committed flank coming out from SJ guys. SG. They want in this kill. way like that. It's obviously going to give away position, but he does have his teammate over there. Fair enough, if he doesn't actually do much damage with it, it at least scares them and keeps them back and keeps them focused on him so they can kind of make that manoeuvre. Has he lost the tyre? No, no, it's good. He's got the cover fire from Ivo popping from range. He's got to be careful, though. Up on that building, you are going to be an open target. Yeah, I mean, he's just stood on the roof. At the end of the day, he's just turreting wherever he can. He's looking for kills and he's finding them, you know, that's the thing. This is these are some long range shots. He hasn't zeroed it, so he's still on 100. So he's trying to go for the he drop. Him. He gets a he gets a blood shot. Fair play to him. Mm. See, zero is really going to come into its own with the new patch with the four ballistics update. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, ten. Oh, this to... is the danger, right? This is the, this is the this. Is, sorry to cut you off. This no, is the good. danger of the cornfields, isn't it? That with the circle going where it is, and is he just stood still and he's not getting hit on it? Because that's because Epic Voice again. Epic voice isn't always isn't Nailed leading from either. He should be he should be leading there rather than putting his full body at torso in view. He needs to lean forward, kind of lean to the left, get a shot, lean back, hide your head. Put your hitbox down, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you 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 you're prone in it from your view. You're sure you're in the the long grass, but from the range, it's you're not. asking to die. Yeah, uh, stiffer in the bush. This is sneaky. Bush walkie. Eight times scope. If he sees one of these guys, he's going to be able to. Uh, Line one, three, 14. Uh oh. Bye. Uh, epic voice picks another one up. I mean, the M16 is basically a sniper rifle at the moment. It will change. I mean, even with a four time gun, it's still, still a, a, a super strong gun. As you say, for when we get the next patch, though, there's no eight times on there. And I will say this again I'd love to see that on all Ooh. ARs. The SKS doing some work again. Ivor getting some more kills. Morse Kenny goes down. That's Wallen Man and Epic Voice, who just done all that work with the M16, picked apart. Everybody moving in. I got a strong feeling for these uh, SG guys, but I think that is Ivor Down on the roof. His teammate is there. No, he's got him up. Okay, so he's got him up. So Lynch Pinar, there. Blue is coming in on them, though. So they've got to uh, get themselves healed up fully and move in. They're going to have to lose their compound. No, they're just inside. Look, the compound's still inside the wall. And now they know Lynch Pinar's there. 
Yeah, we've seen the bullets off the wall, so he has some sort of uh, idea where they're going to be coming from and the trajectory. They are all just skirting on the nice, outside. Nice use of the tree cover there, that front of the Kind of just... Yeah, just, just, just getting get himself up there, he goes. Oh, oh. spots him, and that's a really nice shot from Ival. Yes, beautiful. Three taps him, and down he goes. He gets a headshot as well, so nice spray control that coming out. 13 players remaining. The Scar is a beastie weapon, especially when you've got the attachments on it. Um, oh, big fan. And compound. That, I said, no, and no one's gone for the compound. No. If someone would have gone for it, they would have been gifted it by the circle. Yeah, you've got to feel those guys are up by uh, the bottom of the chopsticks and got to go for it now. Uh, PJ, the DJ, they're going to pick off Kritisk here. I think he's going to be coming across. Yeah, they're all looking his way. So you've got to assume they're going to take the shots on him in a moment. That's the Groza maybe going to change hands <laughs> once again. Um, Ival, they're going to go for the flank. So they're going to go around the circle. We saw this yesterday working out very successfully, but they are doing it in the right, the right time. They've got a minute to go before this circle will clap. So they're going for the full rotation around the edge of it to try and work in as close as they can. They have picked themselves up a number of kills, Pierre and Ival. Uh, these were the guys that started out in Pachinki on the roofs, picking up those kills. So they're all, they've got to be close to probably six or seven easily kills by now as they continue their flank. PJ with the double stem, and now they can get a boost on quite literally. They're going to go speeding through here, but we could potentially lose up to eight players Minimum, I'd say, of four during these encounters because they're all going to see one another. They're all lining up. It's a great angle that we saw from the camera before. The rock out will fall in front of him. I would more than likely just, uh, for me personally... These are all going to fight. I mean, so so Kratisk was the guy that these guys just fought. Kratisk knocked rock out here, and then a squad came in behind them. The SG guys are about to come in behind that squad. This is this is the beauty of duos right now. It, it really is just absolute collapsing from everywhere. The SG guys pick up another two kills off that. I don't think that, well, I mean, they know there was someone in the fields they were shooting at you. We can see them. It's obviously PJ the DJ, the uh, corn uh, crawler, as he were, in, in the bushes, the bush wookie returning. Uh, just trying to keep himself down, but unfortunately, you are very visible. And Ivo just takes some easy shots there. Spins around, spots him. Spotted him very easily there, I would say. But I mean, they knew there was someone down there. And out of all that, only four have survived. So he went from 13 players all the way down to eight. Oh, look at that. They're in the field. See some more players. He's leading these shots. He's already tanked one. We'll see if he can grab any more. He's leading forward to the eight times in the SKS. Fantastic work from that. At least he pushes them back. They're going to have to keep them kind of pinned back there. His teammate still has this grocer in hand. They can work together That's in tandem. And is just that the work. fourth owner? I believe either fourth or third now. Yeah. Regardless, I mean, it's still going to be a weapon that will stay in someone's hands. And if you can take it to this final circle, we've only got... So Four got, teams left. We got these guys in the complex. They're going to have the hill, I think. Yeah, there's gonna have, they're going to have hills. So they've got a decent amount of death late. Uh, there's the team that are in the fields. I don't fancy their chances. They're in trouble. They're, yeah, they're in the open. Yeah, Ivor's looking for them. And it spots them easily in the bush there. You can, you can roll left and right as much as you like, my friend. This SKS is going to do all kinds of damage. Ice Phoenix will fall. These teammates let's see still how, hiding. That's how he easy spots that teammate because he's just hiding in the bush now. He's, you can see he's, he's scanning, he's Phoenix scanning, he's scanning. Him, it's Ice Phoenix he's looking for. No, nope, nope. doesn't I seem thought, thought he might say, but I mean, oh God, you've just given his position away. Like he was crawling towards uh, Flexi there. So now he knows that, okay, his teammates to the right of him. He's in that, but he's just, he just gives his, his quadrant away effectively. So poor old Flexi is just limited. Now he takes the peak and yeah, it's easy, easy spot for Ival. He's still in the open, but he's so confident with this SKS. He's just popping the shots off, takes him down to nothing. His teammate is, oh, actually, I think he's just got knocked from the other direction. In this scenario, the only thing you can do is throw some smokes down and, and pray that they've got a bit of a terrible shot. You do have the range. He's running some great shots. There he's we go. Getting batted. There's no way Ival's to picked up a lot of kills. I mean, when you've got the weapon in like this, you can do, you know, you've got one running an SKS that's fully tanked up with gear and an eight-time scope, oh, and his teammates no. got the grows. This is disastrous. Like, for the... Uh, sorry to cut you off again. These guys, there's Devon Struss and Moss Kenny, they're, they're fighting with Jack's ass and completely ignoring the fact SJ guys are just running in behind them. There you go, there. Just tax him straight from behind. They're completely ignoring the fact because they've been held up in this fight for so long. They're just getting pushed in, and they're going to be in the complex before they know what the hell's hit them, and that's a grows are coming in the complex. Yes. This is the thing, right? You know, you could sit here and say, OK, they have the compound, happy days, they should win this. But look at this man on the right-hand side. He's got the compound killer. He can breach these doors with the grows. You go in, you go with a full spray down hip fire. No vest. He's going to... Yeah, that is actually... Now you mentioned it, that's going to be a big problem because you're going to take 100% damage as you walk in that building every time someone drills you to the chest. You've just got to hope that their gear, their rocking level 2s, level 1s, and you're pretty decent with the Groza. 
you want to be using he's that using now. He's using the scar of the Groza. Uh, I mean, he's going long range, right? I can kind of understand that because the mm. kickback's fine. He just kind of scoped in on that guy in home, didn't he, when he did focus back. They're going to focus on him for a while because they know that he's the door. Nice. Spray down through the window, absolutely terrorizing there. His teammate does finish off that kill they were looking, so now they can concentrate the fire on these two guys inside the building. Yep. Now they can move up. Scar comes in, they all kind the... of work. Look for his teammate pre potentially flanking. Groza should come into use here. Maybe he doesn't have the ammunition, which is fair play if he doesn't. Tag's another one who runs upstairs, but he can just keep this angle. Count how many walk up those stairs. You know, one's here, one's already up there, looking for the one. Sees the end of the gun, and now he can just kind of hold this angle, keep peeking. They have them so nicely pinned. They took out that door early on, so they couldn't go to the right side of the building. So, which gave them the opportunity to flank on the left, uh, flank on the right. So they knew they're pinned into that left side, or they have to be upstairs. There's the peak. Got a little lucky there, Eiffel. They had the grenade in hand, tried to go for the nade. Obviously, could have got caught with the uh, the peak there, but it's forced them up into the roof. And this is let's have a look at the circle. They're still inside the circle on the next one. So this complex, they have to go for the breach. Now they've done it once. Can they do it again? They've played so well already, Ivel and PJ, or PA, I, I don't even know how the pronunciation. PJ not only no longer has a chest, Lee, he no longer has a helmet as well. Oof, if he's going to get one tapped in the face, if he does get caught off guard, um, Groza comes out, fair play to him, finally we see this bad boy in play. Plenty of ammunition as well to take down these two players, but, I mean, personally for me, I would really like Ivel to give him his level three helmet, spread the loop. You know, he doesn't have a chest, he doesn't have a helmet, give him the helmet so he can use this Groza, so he can get stuck in. Because now he's angling on the window, so he's essentially, he's, he's silhouetting his face here. He's putting himself as an open tag. If they come down that stairs, they've only got one tiny hitbox to see. They've got this window of opportunity. All it needs to do is find one bullet, connect with his head. He's going down, oh, simple as that. Next circle's just gone right on top of Ivel, so they have to come out of this building. They either stay around, Ivel with this track to cover, is in a perfect spot. He knows that this is the only really way place they can check. They're gonna peek out and they get knocked straight away. Ivel takes their head off, just waiting for them to go for that peek. Now, are they gonna rush him? They, they are, do. they're gonna have to rush him. They know the guy's knocked, they go, either gotta deal with him or they're gonna get a two-on-one situation. They go pushing up the stairs. Can it work out? SJ will take it down. 14 kills for Ivel and force for PA. 18 kill start. Holy cow. Groza comes in to finish the match. The big boy gun does its job. And as you said, that's 18 in the bank to start the day, that's a good, good I mean, game. So he was basically turreting with the SKS on the rooftops for the majority of that game, and nobody nobody challenged him. Which is, it's fair play. I mean, that's what you kind of need. And if you have your, your teammate that can move forward and rotate around you and at least keep those angles, it's a dangerous scenario, right? Because as you kind of mentioned before, you had the hill behind him. If anyone's on that hill, two people with an ACOG, you just pepper him down. Yeah. So there, it is high risk, high reward because you're keeping yourself out in the open there. But again, when you've got a level three helmet, level three chest, you can afford to kind of take those first initial bullets. You can afford to be ballsy and stand up there for a bit and hope, okay, maybe there's no one else around me. And as well, you're counting up in that top corner. You see how many players are still standing Hey, it might be worth the odds. You kind of said right at the start, you know, there isn't so many people in this match. It could be a quiet one. <laughs> Avenger comes on and looks. 14 kills, mate, for Ival. He did pretty well. He did pretty well. Uh, and it all started, actually, if you think back to Pachinki. He was the guy. Actually, no, it was PA that was on the roof, wasn't it? And Ival was coming on the flank, so, yes. and he got the, the headshots on the roof. But think back to Gatka area when he was on the roof with the SKS. His teammate went straight up. There was a long way across the field to separate as a duo, mm. taking those long-range shots while his teammate flanked in with the scar. Really nicely played. Obviously picked up the Grozer at the end. And we saw the pincer moves and the, the tactics. And like you say, as soon as they got their knock, boom, instant reactions from both of them pushed the stairs. It wasn't a, a hesitation. Obviously worked very well as a duo. Really great game to start things off today. That's We're going to be it. going through till 10 p.m. There's a lot of PUBG action going to be taking place throughout the day. Uh, we're going to get to see how the pros are going to perform later on. There's a number of them taking part. We're going to see the doctor in action as well. He's going to be playing Two on the main eight. stage, I believe, at 1 p.m. I might be wrong it's there. One, so one, four. one to a, one or two or four or something like that. Yeah. So there's a, and there's a number of other influencers that are going to be coming on there uh, to it, joining the games today. Can they do any better than Soda Pop in yesterday? I reckon they probably could. We'll see how they do. Guys, join us. The next game is